Hey, this is Toy Collection of Joy Video 12. This is the Trash Pack Series 6. These are some uh, trashies we've had floating around our house since Easter when we got these. And um, I'm going to go ahead and open these up and share them to the best of my abilities. And please bear with me as I attempt to find their names. But these little guys are something uh, I've seen a lot of videos for. We've, we've watched on YouTube and we've seen it done. So these are the, the series that have the rotten eggs in them and there's 12 trashies inside. These are some of the ones that we may or may not get. And they're from the Moose Company. And the copyright on this is, um, well, I guess neither here nor there. Just go ahead and crack them open. There's been a lot of cool takes on the trashies, not necessarily trashies themselves, but you know, they, they've brought back Garbage Pell Kids at a similar scale. And uh, there's some companies that are doing more space themed toys in this vein. But, um, all right. These are the trashies. Packaged kind of nice. Trash pack. Um, I understand they're very addictive once you start collecting them. And I'm no stranger to being a kid and collecting things. I went through all sorts of phases. Here's the big egg that's going to have not a majority of them, but a good amount. And then we got the ones that are already on display. So I'll go ahead and put those up here for now. So just good, not necessarily clean little toys. Some of them squishy, some of them not so squishy. Is that everything? Let me see, I'll leave anything. That looks like it all. Okay. So let's go ahead and get cracking. These are appropriately the egg-shaped ones as we got them on Easter. These are the rotten eggs. I guess I'll save the big one for last. Go ahead and take out our guide, or our key. That's going to let us know all the games you can play. Oh, wow. I can see why scrolling through this is going to be a little bit of a time-consuming thing. But I think if I could figure out the theme right away, I should be able to move it along. Let's go ahead and place that right there for now. That's fine. Okay. Oop. So, very colorful little color coordinated thing here. This first one looks like a, a lit match. So get him out of there. This is, oh wow, it's the first time I ever actually handled one of these. It's not as gummy as I thought. It's just a nice piece of rubber. Uh, it says moose underneath China. Uh, this is 914. Wow, they've made that many already. So this is Scum Scorcher. Well, I guess he's just some some burnt burnt up scum. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I don't even know how to explain it. It's not like gushy. I mean, yeah, you probably could. I don't know if you could get a pencil on there, but maybe a small ended pen. But yeah, I. I, I kind of get it. I, I get why these are so in. The eyes really look at you. Colors are cool. So, Scum Scorcher. Alrighty. This next guy. Oh, he looks like a little T-Rex. Yeah, there's a great deal of care put into making these fun to open. So, maybe he's ancient exhibits because he's also... He's a dinosaur, so one thing I'm aware of is they're not always the same color. So don't don't think that you're dealing with with one that's going to be what you see on the sheet. I'm guessing it's egg stinks trash, and yeah, I think that's him right there. One thousand thirty nine. Smell erupts. 
I'm not sure if that's a play on Triceratops Malarops. He's right there. <laughs> not exactly getting the pun, but, you know, after 1,039 of them. Okay, he stinks. He's got a clothespin on his nose. He's got some stinky stuff on the back of his uh, crown. All right. I won't question it. So, I guess I'll just go ahead and put him... No, I'll leave him out. But, yeah, these are the eggs. Two parts of the same end. The other ones are fixed to the bottom of the sheet. So, so let's see. There's two that are already open, three that are in small eggs, so I'm guessing there's seven in the big one. That should be quite a finale. Okay. So, okay, this guy's notably crunchier. I'm guessing he's going to be hard-boiled trash. He looks like a rockfish with green scum coming out of his mouth, kind of droopy eyes. But yeah, it's not so squishy. Let's see what we got here. These guys all kind of look alike because they're all gray. Now this is 987 in the hard-boiled trash. This is flint rockfish. Flint. Flinty. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get that on a pen just because that's um, solid. All right, he rocks. I like that one most so far. But um, Scum Scorcher is a tough act to follow. But yeah, that that one, smell erops Yeah, wasn't... Oh, okay, we got more hard-boiled trash. Okay, yeah, this one is uh, 9.89. Gravel rat. He's actually not so filthy. He's just he's just a little a little mammal made out of gravel. It's okay. A little marsupial made out of marvel. Marble. Well I mean if they were all like this, I don't think they'd be the phenomenon they are. Because this is just a little a little hard plastic guy. Well, the ears still move, so it's, uh, it's definitely got rubber elements in it. But, I mean, I think it's the gross-out aspect that really appeals to kids. But, you know, they don't always have to be repugnant. Okay, moving on to our third small egg concealed. And, okay, back to the squishy rubber ones. Moving that to the side. Um, hmm. What are we looking at here? This should be an easy one to find. Okay, this is Ancient Exhibits. Uh, okay. You know, thinking of, like, the uh, Advention, Advent of the Wheel... This one's actually pink. 9.32, Wheelie Gross. Like, really gross, Wheelie Gross. How they found a way to make a wheel, an object that simply turns on a spoke, disgusting. You got to give them credit for I mean, there's itty-bitty roaches and there's all kinds of muck. Creepy crawlers. I mean, this is just a wheel. This is just like something an archaeologist would dig up. And it's got bugged out eyes and buck teeth and it's it's drooling. So, yeah, they, they went ahead and they found a way to make this disgusting <laughs> wheelie gross. Okay. All right. Cracking open the big one. I think these are going to be poly bag. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, just give me a second to make a little room here. You 
These are our hard-boiled trash ones right there. Put them front and center. Sorry about this. Okay. Let me just empty this out. Okay, so there's, there's your big rotten egg right here. You know, you probably even store some of these smaller ones in here in the meantime to tidy up. But yeah, that's all those are. All right, so let's get cracking. Let's see what people have a knife ready for these. Scissors would probably be smarter because there's really not much to cut. It's just, it'll keep stretching on you. So these are kind of neat if you like dinosaurs and paleontology kind of things. This one's little. It looks like a little, let's see, 10... 30, 1,030, snotodactyl, okay, I dig it, it's just a little, little pterodactyl, you know, secreting some mucus, it's got little wings, and he's tiny, it's a little baby, okay, snotodactyl, that works, yeah, this one looks cool, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm already liking it. Okay. This one's in a little bin. Okay. And it's Trash Raptor. He's 1,034 in the collection. Or I don't know what those numbers mean. They might just be... It might just be 1034. It might not necessarily be that there's been that many... Yeah, this guy's got one eyeball. On the card, he he doesn't have one dead blind eye. He has two pupils, but they missed their mark. Uh, his tail's green like the uh, receptacle, like the trash bin. Yeah, uh, if he had that little dot right there, that would be so nice, but this one's unique. Uh, he's cool. Trash Raptor. 10.34. I think these, when you buy a lot of them, it comes out to around a dollar each. Like, you can get a nice, a nice collection of them, packaged, fun to open for around, you know, you get a dozen of them for around maybe $15. I think if you blind bag them, they're more like $3 each. Okay, so I'm going to look on excavated trash for this one because they all seem to be characters that are found on stones. 1,023 dreg legs. Hmm, okay. These are kind of cool. I like the excavated trash ones. You get little shrimp and little fish and just fossils that are fixed to rock. But this one right here is dread legs. Okay. Four left. Well, just imagine being a kid, and every time you get a good report card, no, not, not even a good report card, every time you get 18 out of 20 or better on a spelling test, say your dad takes you to Toys R Us, says, well, I guess you're going to add some additions to your trash packs collection because you nailed a B plus, And we reward that in our family with a $15 toy and a B kid. All right. This is out of the scrambled animals. This is 942. Battered bat. Why does he got to be battered? Someone got brutal on him. Looks like someone beat up on his wings, punched his torso, put some filth on his back. But, you know, 
he's a bat. He's not going to let that affect the quality of his life. He's he's looking good. He's got his fangs, his night vision, nocturnal eyes. So, yeah, bad or bad, 942. It's not that bad. Alrighty. This looks like another disgusting one. Okay. 928 out of the ancient exhibits. Dino poop. Hmm. Okay. So dino poops got some bones and starfish and hmm, drippage. This must be the dino poop of a marine ancient animal because there's a lot of starfish in here. Hmm. Little bones. Right. Anyway. That's 928 Dino Poop. Sorry, I don't mean to not have much enthusiasm over that one. I mean, can't complain, though. I mean, we got Trash Raptor. I mean, we got Battered Bat here. We got this wheel, Wheelie Gross. So, you know, you're, you're bound to get a couple ones like Dino Poop. Oh, cool. All right, more excavated trash. I was hoping we'd get this one. This is filthified fish. 1008. And ours is on a turquoise stone as opposed to being pink. And rather than having a turquoise fish, we got an orange one. So I got one eye. You can see his fins. He's on a little rock. Moose. China. All right. Down to our last one. Oh boy. I can already see where this is going. It's not another little dinosaur. It's now more excavated trash. It seems to fall back on the long running trash pack theme of just being a toilet. And this is 1050 Flush Osaurus. Man, I gotta tell you, I really thought Dino Poop was gonna be as low as we could go. But um, Flushosaurus, definitely the bottom of the trash pack. But, you know, it's all right. It's all right because we got some really good ones. We'll just go ahead and put these guys here. Um, all right. So for least creative, we've got Willy Gross. We've got Flushosaurus and we got Dino Poop. And then for our comeback, you know, we got Scum Scorcher, we got Trash Raptor, we got Battered Bat, and we scored some some uh, some nice what do you call these hard boiled trash? You know, with their gravel rat in our flint rock fish, and then you kind of got your your middle dwellers. We got our excavated trash, and we got this triceratops that can't stand his own stink, smell of rops, and we got, you know, little pterodactyl that's just, it's not a dactyl. So, you know, you got really great ones, you got really unique ones, got really ordinary ones, and then you just got, like, really guys, that's what you came up with. Even as a kid, I'd be like, okay, I'll trade you these three right here for just your batter to bat. And the kid would be like, mm, I don't know. I'll take those three and throw in your smell of rops 
and you can have my one-eyed trash raptor and you're gonna like it take a deep breath and then be like yeah that's fair fair enough kid fair enough all right well i know many people have done little reviews for these so i just you know we have this pack so i thought i'd do my take on it i really enjoyed it um i really envy kids that can just get them all and trade and be happy go home inside have some mashed potatoes and gravy for dinner watch a show and go to school in the morning that that must be the life and then, and then just like wake up and see a shelf with like 200 of these on the shelf yeah well that was another lifetime ago but thank you very much for watching my video and this has been toy collection of joy video 12 have a great day